So many people are interested in getting into Linux, but don't really know where to start, and probably it should begin with lightweight Linux is kind of what I call it, because it's a good way to kind of get into Linux and never have to worry about losing anything or figuring stuff out, you just don't care. And really the best case for this is something like a crappy old netbook. Like this is an old Acer Aspire 1. It's running an Atom processor. Um, and to put that in perspective, it's basically what a flip phone would have as far as a processor. It does not run Windows very well at all. It doesn't run Windows 7 very well at all, which is a pretty old version of Windows. This thing w just chugs along. It, it barely is able to process anything. And this is like the perfect instance to utilize Linux and kind of see its power and, and also get your feet wet in, in case you have an old one of these laying around or a, a really underpowered laptop uh, that's probably one of the best things you can do to learn Linux and if you don't and you want to use lightweight Linux on your regular production machine by all means go ahead you're gonna just get more performance out of it I just wanted to make this video to say hey here's lightweight Linux that you can use starting off that pretty much any computer out there that can, can run. So uh, I make a lot of debloat videos and those types of things and say uh, this distribution and that. I just kind of want to clear the air here and just say Linux in general is a lot less of an overhead no matter what you choose uh, in regards to Linux. So today I'm going to focus on two distributions that are extremely lightweight that you can load on an old netbook and kind of give Linux a nice trial run while you you learn and get used to it so with that let's go ahead and jump over onto the desktop and we're going to show you the install process of one of these I'm sure touching on two distributions I'd recommend the install process is very similar between the two and that is Lubuntu which is basically lightweight Ubuntu and then also Peppermint both these are very lightweight distributions meaning there's not a whole bunch of stuff on them but it's a great uh, environment just if you want a bare bones minimalist environment or you just want uh, to utilize that old tech you have laying around that no longer can run Windows or a lot of the heavier uh, distributions out there of Linux if you're a power user so with that let's jump over the desktop we're gonna do a fresh build of peppermint and kind of show uh, lightweight Linux the the fast speedy side and minimal side of Linux Okay, so here we go. We're loading up Lubuntu just to throw in the ISO here. It's loading a fresh version. So I'm going to just go through the installer process. Uh, this is what it would look like from an actual uh, install. Very, very lightweight. This thing loads. You'd run it off a of USB and it loads on anything. It could be a freaking toaster and Lubuntu would pretty, probably load it. That's pretty much how awesome it is. Let's go ahead and actually install. So I'm going to just walk you through the install here. Uh, it is a very, very nice distro. So with that, um, I'm just going to flip through, choose all this. We're going to erase the entire disk uh, and, and load this up because I really love this. As far as what you can do, it is just rock solid. And it makes it super easy as far as the installation process as well. So that's uh, kind of why uh, Lubuntu is usually my go-to, but Peppermint is also a very good option. Uh, however, I'm just so used to Lubuntu. I've been using Lubuntu for a long time. Like even before I was a Linux user on Windows, there's been times where I'd repurpose an old netbook and load Lubuntu on it just because nothing else could run on that thing. And Lubuntu just seemed to always work. But uh, it does use LXQT, which is a very uh, nice, minimal operating system, uh, or desktop environment, I should say. And uh, it is very, very good. So with that, let's go ahead and it'll fly through this install process. Now, I will say, if you're using Lubuntu on like your performance machine, like if I were going to use this on inside, it would give me literally every ounce of performance I want to squeeze out of that machine. So if you absolutely want almost no overhead, Lubuntu is a great option, especially for those just getting into it, and it's a great option to, for bootable media as well. So if you want just like a rolling uh, distro that you have on your thumb drive, uh, Lubuntu is a great option because, like I said, it loads really fast. Even if you're loading it from a thumb drive, 
usually it loads within a, you know probably about 30 seconds all right there we go all done see i wish every single install went that quick just because my goodness it would make my job way easier so many uh, other installs take such a long time so uh you know heck just vanilla ubuntu takes probably about three times as long as that just by comparison when i did my minimal ubuntu install so i love ubuntu and it's just lightweightness to everything so uh we'll remove our installation media hit enter and away we go and there we are we're on the desktop all loaded up with no installation media or anything in sight that is crazy fast and just to give you an idea of how much memory i threw at this thing i just got to show you what my actual system settings are because uh it's kind of insane how well this works on almost nothing so there you have it right there this is what this thing is running uptime of two minutes i went ahead and installed screen fetch just to show you what we have it's running a kernel almost uh, no as far as the processors i think i threw one or two processors at it but uh the memory it has one and a half gigs of memory one and a half that's insane and it's only taking up 300 megs of that memory. I literally have over a gig of free memory and I only have one and a half allocated to this system. When I said this thing can install on a toaster, there's some toasters out there this thing would run really well on. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, I'm, I'm just super pumped because I love seeing a lightweight install that just blazes through everything. One, makes my job a lot easier making the video and two, it's just fun to have this kind of setup and this kind of system. So uh, go have some fun with this. I absolutely love it. So there you have it. That was the entire build process. I really like this distribution. It doesn't get enough coverage out there. And that's kind of why I chose this specific one because a lot of vets out there love Peppermint because of how lightweight it is. And it's just such a, a minimal install. There's really not much that goes into it. It's a great learning spot so if you're trying to learn linux i always recommend you know ubuntu in peppermint is actually not a bad spot especially if you have old hardware but with all that said let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and a big shout out to my patrons without you i couldn't make videos like this one and i'll see you in the next video